Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. This is standard 4.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got the number of each kind of flower in a vase. We've got some daisies, we've got some roses, and we've got some tulips. And you might be thinking it's a simple problem of adding up these flowers, but we need to find the fraction of flowers in the vase that are daisies or tulips. So our answer here needs to be a fraction. We don't even need to find the answer. We need to know how to express the answer in an addition problem here. So we have our daisies all laid out here, and it might seem pretty simple like a pictograph we'd see in kindergarten. We got four daisies, we've got six roses, and we've got five tulips, but that doesn't really help us. But remember, these are all in a vase. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of draw a vase, and if it's not a perfect vase, then we'll just kind of pretend it's a nice big vase here. And in this vase are all of these flowers. So I'm going to just draw some of these flowers, but I'm just going to represent them with their letter. So it looks like I have got four daisies. So I'm just going to kind of put my four daisies right here. And now I've got six roses. So let me just put some roses here. They're not going to stick out quite as far. And you see it's going to be actually a pretty crowded vase. I've got four five, let's put another rose right there. And now I've got my tulips. I've got five tulips. So I'm just going to put little T's. One, two, I can squeeze them in. Three, four, there we go. There's our final tulip. So that's my vase. And you see now that how it's all crowded together and I'm looking for is a fraction of a set. So instead of a fraction of a whole, it's not like all of these flowers make one big hole and they're just cut up into all of these little pieces. No, each of these flowers are individual, but what we need to do is we need to just count them as a set. So how many total flowers do I have? That is going to be my key because that is going to be my denominator. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You also could just add 4 and 6 and 15, but either way, your whole is going to be 15. So you've got 15 total flowers. Now, these numbers here, the 4 and the 6 and the 5, become very useful. And so what we're going to do is we are going to see what fraction of the flowers are daisies. So daisies are four. So my daisies right here is going to be four. That's my numerator because that tells me what I'm looking for, daisies. And your denominator is what we had to figure out. It wasn't given to us. The denominator is the whole. And we've got 15 total flowers. So four out of the 15 flowers are daisies. And then how many do we have that are tulips? Well, tulips are five. So we've got five tulips out of 15. So 4 out of the 15 are daisy, 5 out of the 15 are tulips, and since we're looking to see which one is one or the other, we'd have to add both of these up. Now, if we wanted to actually figure out what this is equal to, we don't necessarily need to. We should see our answer down here at j, but if we wanted to, we need to make sure that the denominators are the same, right? So that's going to be good. The denominators always have to be equal when we add or subtract. And then when you add or subtract, you add across the top. So 4 plus 5, that makes 9. But you don't touch the denominator. 15 plus 15 does not make 30. We're still dealing with 15ths because that's how many total flowers we have in this vase. So if we wanted to know what was the total, well, we could say 9 fifteenths of the flowers are either daisies or tulips. But they don't necessarily ask us for that. That's just how we would add it. They're asking for the expression, and it's going to be J, 4 fifteenths plus 5 fifteenths.